This right here versus this. The second you can know the difference between those two positions is the second you're going to be a great golfer. The secret to playing great golf is keeping this angle in your golf swing. When you keep the angle, you're going to strike it crisp every single time. And this is something that pros have known since the beginning of golf on how to hit the ball well. They know how to control this. When I get set up to the golf ball, you're gonna see a little angle here in my hand. And when I swing through, I'm gonna keep this angle and it will create a golf shot that is beautiful. That sounds kind of crazy in a game where there are a ton of variables and a lot of frustration and confusion. Being able to control contact like that and your contact hinging on something so small like this. So we'll take a little look at contact, how this secret can change your game forever. We're also gonna look at how you can control your contact point and know your contact point so you can play great golf time and time again. First thing, understanding contact. Great impact looks like this, way forward, hands ahead. And whenever I have the hands ahead, it helps encourage a strike in front of the ball. So that's a big win right there. You notice when I got my hands ahead, there's the angle. And keeping this angle, you look at any great ball striker, you are going to see an angle. It doesn't matter who it is. Any swing, you could take somebody like Jim Furyk, crazy swing, put it up against McElroy or whoever you want. Doesn't matter, they're gonna be here. What I see with a lot of amateur golfers is the opposite. There's a habit of losing the angle and it's like a floppy fish going around. You got the catch of the day and it's flopping off the boat. Well, this right here, is the opposite of the angle. And this creates inconsistent contact because the second I start doing that and I lose, that's, that, that's now a straight line between my arm and my wrist. When I lose that angle, I'm now sweeping at the ball. It's like I'm mopping the floor. There's no power in this. And you notice I'm not even hitting the ground. There's no nice thud sound. It's kind of hard for me to find the ground and I could hit the ground anywhere. So simply a golfer who straightens this will struggle with contact. So I lost the angle. But then just turning that around to keeping the angle, I know with certainty, I'm just gonna hit this shot. I'm not thinking about it, I just keep the angle. Watch, keep the angle, swing. Boom. Kept the angle. And contact was crispy. It's insanely good. So we're starting with contact, and that's why a lot of pros call this the secret. Johnny Miller is a classic pro who talked about this being the secret. It's really not as hard as you would think to keep this angle. I'm really just saying, if you, if you set up like this and you kept it, you would play great golf. Watch this. I'm gonna set up it in, at setup, and I'm setting up like impact. There's the angle. If I swing to the top with the angle, boom. What do you see? Well, this arm's still tucked in. It's not out, and the angle's not gone. So I've got this, still there. Look, top back swing, it's still the same as this. That's gold right there. And then when I swing into impact, there it is again. There's the angle. So the first thing you need to know is how to be aware of this in your swing. Are you losing it at any point? Because if you are, and I bet a lot of you will lose it at the top of backswing. When you get to the top and you have the high hands and high arms and the club's very vertical, I feel like it's gone and the arm flies away not much of an angle anymore. But at the top, if you are a pro golfer, you'll see pros. I've got it right here at the top. You could analyze almost any player who's played great golf. He's gonna have this happening at some point in the swing to create great contact. Even if they got to the top and they had a flat here. If they started down, they would end up getting into that position. So you need that angle to play great golf. There's no playing great golf without it. I don't like to think about putting the club in a whole bunch of different positions. I don't like doing a whole lot of that because golf can get complicated if we're thinking more than one thing at a time. So I'll just set up like this, swing to the top, feeling an angle. You can, hold, you can even hold that in place. Start down, feel it, just holding that in place, and go through holding that in place. And that feeling right there, translate that to a club. Holding that in place, go to the top, still there. Swing it down, still there. Swing it through, still there. At no point am I casting at it. It's gonna teach you one of the most valuable concepts 
in golf, which is to use your body to keep this angle. So you can't use your arms and flick at it. Nope, you're gonna use your shoulders now. Your body has to move the club around. And that helps you to keep the angle. So if I was to do all arms, I'd be tempted to do more of a flip and scoop motion. There's no motivation for me to keep the angle. But then when I use my body, I've got the wrist set, hold the wrist in that position, keep it there, start back, and there's another crispy strike. And when I finish, I should be able to hold a grip in there. You can see like I'm almost like I'm crunching that grip against the back of my wrist. Now that would be extreme. You don't want the, the grip to be able to roll though, roll off, that'd be too flat. But almost like I'm trying to hold that grip in there when I finish. Pinch it. And I start with some of that pinched already. So I'm, I'm trying to pinch that grip against the back of my wrist, keep it pinched throughout the swing. And I finish pinching it. And the flush sound of contact is, it's amazing, it's unbeatable. It's not just contact that makes this a secret. There is so much more. Kind of like in the movie Spinal Tap, we got more, so much more. And I got that, but I got more, a lot more. It makes the downswing extremely easy. To have a good downswing, I need the club approaching behind the hands here. And I need it to stay like that into impact. I cannot have this angle lost, because when I do, whoosh, casting over the top, steep, swing problems just start to appear. So I tuck my right arm as in as much as possible. I keep this angle on my wrist, and I'm just going to swing to the top and keep the angle on the way down. You see, when I, when I swing down, it's naturally going to shallow the club. That's why I love this, because I am one of those head cases who will overthink the golf swing into oblivion. And if you're like me, you could just do that for days and then go into paralysis by analysis. So I like things that are like this. Just keep it and swing the shoulders. That's why you'll see every great golfer in history has a pattern of doing arm under, 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 under. Doesn't matter what their backs are, they could be up here. Some are up here. Very few now, but the guys who went up here would do this. And the guys now are already there, so they just go right back to the ball and they have this. I'd rather just start that, start with this, keep it. Because I don't have to think about my backswing or downswing. Why this is being called the secret, it's because almost everything in your swing can happen with this angle. And I'm hitting flush shots. <laughs> flush! Something that's really popular with me and my students as we've been using this really cool technique in this drill to keep the angle. This device right here is called the Precision Impact Trainer and what it does is it forces this angle to be intact throughout the whole swing. So I don't have to think about whether or not it's happening. No, it's happening. And I use it a little bit differently. I like to preset it a couple clicks. So you see, it comes out flat, give it a couple clicks and this is it. My arm, it feels amazing. I just feel right away. Oh, I'm tucked in. Like I, it's hard for me to be out with my wrist in this position. So I automatically feel that I'm tucked in. I could do it again. So we out, two clicks, but then I wanna get it in like this. So you're keeping the wedge here and the elbow in. That is maintained. It's like I've got this piece of wood and it's preventing me from screwing up. That's why I love the feeling. When I go to the top with it though, it's gonna click a couple more times. Because remember that hammer? The weight of the hammer, the weight of the club, will naturally load this wrist some more. And I see the wedge, it's maintained. When I start down, I have to keep it on this path. I, it won't let me screw it up because I'm feeling the back of my hand and the back of my arm against this paddle and if I pull it, try and pull the hand off, well, it just doesn't let me because it's, it's forcing me in. The next thing, you know, they're gonna put an electric shocker in here to help do this. I grip it with a couple clicks and then I'm just gonna swing nice and slow, show you what this looks like. That is the sensation right there. I love working on this because it's so important. And once I've done some training with this precision impact tool, 
I can take it right back to my regular swing. And what I love about it is I got the feeling right now of what it's like to have this in. I can feel like it's molded my arm into this position permanently. And then all I need to do is swing. Oh, that was great. That's the feeling right there. Best swing of the day. Give me some more of that. Mm. I've got you a nice discount on the Precision Impact Trainer. Just check out the link in the description below and the comments below. It's a fantastic device. And many of my students love using it because it ingrains the most important thing in the golf swing, keeping the angle. And that's where it's gonna start being flush city all day long. It's the secret, but it's not really a secret. It's just that nobody's really teaching it. We've been working far too hard at the golf swing. You know, Chick-fil-A's perfected their breading. Olive Garden's got that delicious salad dressing that they perfected. And yet we're sitting here in the golf swing making it way too hard. It's like, why can't we perfect it like that salad dressing? We can, just gotta simplify the machine. Keep it. Oh boy, it's getting hot out here. That's a good, that's a spicy meatball. Might be some of the best feeling strikes. Like it's always been crispy, but this is even crisper or crispier. How does it get crispier? It's amazing. Oh. I just want to keep hitting. I have the, some of the best feelings have just come from that precision impact recently that I, I can't help but share them with you. Here we go again. Keep it in there. Oh! This is why golf is so much fun. This is what makes you want to play. I don't even know how many golf balls we've hit here. This episode has probably gone far too over. It feels good. It feels good. So good. So good. Da -da -da -da. Dun, 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 dun. I feel good. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know the lyrics. Da -da 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 -da. I feel good. Da -da 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 -da. It's striped again. Da -da 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 -da. So good. So good. I just want to do this again and again and again. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so good of golfers, thanks for tuning in today. It feels good to play golf like this. And I want you to feel so good about that.